quest for Raptorium has led to disaster. This one's working just fine. This is my 5900X. I want to go into those settings and change the core voltage down a little bit. And then I'm going to put a card in here because I'm having some issues with another computer. This one is also going to get a graphics card in it just for now. So the issue is with my full card, this is my 3060, 3060 Ti, 3070, 3070 Ti, 3080, and 30 Ti rig. When I power it on now, you can see here the motherboard lights. They flicker through like they're supposed to, and then I get a solid white. Solid white indicates a VGA error, which means there's something wrong with the graphics card. I tried out all of these different graphics cards on it. I tried a different power supply on it to see if there was a motherboard issue. See, there's that white light right there, the dreaded white light. I went through everything I could possibly think of, and I could not get anything to work. I can't even see the BIOS on this, nothing. So how this happened was I had, oh yeah, if you look here, the ROG lights don't even turn on. Here I'll power it down and I'll put it back up. See, it just flickers there and it doesn't stay on. So there might be a power delivery issue with this motherboard. So I tried it with a different power supply, tried it with a different power supply cables, everything. Nothing works on this thing. I think that this board finally bit the dust. This was an older board that I got from a used system that I wanted a graphics card in. There you go. I got the Strix B450F Gaming. It's not the Gaming 2. This is the first one. And what happened when I figured this out was I was trying to get into the BIOS and lower the core voltage on that CPU for Raptoria mining. And it was having a hard time even getting into the BIOS. It didn't want to do it. I had to reset it a few times. I had to pull all the cards out but one to finally get in there. And then when I put the settings in there and I hit reset to save them, it wouldn't save the settings in the BIOS, which is really odd. Got into the BIOS again. None of the settings I, I put in there had stayed. So it kind of reverted back to where it was. I tried to clear the CMOS. And it just, and then I couldn't even get back into the BIOS. That's it. I got that fun white light. So this rig is down. I ordered a new motherboard. None of the local stores have any boards that have six PCIe slots. So I ordered one off of Amazon. It should be getting here tomorrow night. Hopefully not too late because I want to build this thing up. And in the meantime, what I have done is taken off. The big boy cards, I took off the 3080 Ti and the 3080 and stuck them into my, what used to be dedicated Raptorium builds. So at least for now, I have about another 110 mega hash on Raptori, no, sorry, 110 mega hash on Raven. So the four cards are still down. The little ones, the 3060, 3060 Ti, 3070, and 3070 Ti are down for the day. But the big cards, I've at least got them hashing. Everything seems okay on them so far. And the Raptorium builds, they were doing good. I just wanted to lower those voltages down a little bit. I lowered the clocks a little tiny bit on them and lowered the voltage as well. We'll figure it'll be a little more efficient this way. And then I'm not drawing quite as much power. We'll see how it goes. Once this stuff is all stable and I'm happy with the settings, I can kind of let you guys know where I have them. But for now, I think it's about 4.1 gigahertz, sorry, 4.1 gigahertz clock, and then around 1 to 1.05 volts, I think, is where I have it. If everything runs good tonight, I'm going to check it in the morning, and then I'll find out exactly where I put that, and hopefully it's all good. So, sad day. Some cards are down. Managed to rescue some. There's always things to be doing that when that new motherboard comes, I will be reporting rebuilding this one at the new board and hopefully everything's good so thanks for watching let me know how you guys are doing every day is an adventure with mining take it easy